Japanese knotweed is listed on Schedule 9 Part 2 of the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981, giving landowners and developers a legal responsibility to prevent the plant from spreading beyond their control. Eradication of this plant is often required when on brownfield sites, with various processes and treatments available. On this particular development site, the Japanese knotweed has been aggressively treated with herbicide, limiting the amount of growth visible. The plant is now showing bonsai growth which can be very difficult to identify amongst other vegetation and may give the appearance of control. However, viable rhizome remains within the soil and the only way to achieve full eradication is to excavate. Meet Serena, our mid-range machine within the EnviroScreen 2020 system. Excavated soil is transferred via dumper to the processing area where it's stockpiled before being processed. The EnviroScreen system separates the soil and removes the rhizome material the source of the Japanese knotweed growth. The material passes over a system of screens and conveyors with larger fragments of rhizome removed by hand. This rhizome is stored in bags before eventual incineration on site, eliminating the plant forever. As the system continues, all vegetation and litter is removed from the processed material. The processed soils are collected and stockpiled, ready for managed reinstatement. The EnviroScreen system is suitable for most development sites with a friable soil and provides excellent savings against conventional methods of removal to landfill and on-site burial. The larger the volume of soil, the greater the saving. The process also qualifies for land remediation tax relief. Please speak to your accountant for further information.